Uh, I think it's pretty nice. It's pretty much the uh, same temperature this time of year, and uh, the turnout's pretty good. You know, there's typically, uh, you know, not quite as many people out every night or every year, uh, but this year it looks like a pretty good turnout, so pretty proud of that. Uh, I was that, that was actually the year before I came to school up here, so I just had a couple friends up here, and uh, you know, I just kind of remember watching the news and talking to them and uh, kind of getting their take on things and, you know, how much the impact it had on them and the this, the you know Aggie community, so pretty pretty uh, pretty big event and definitely made an impact on all of us. So. Um, I think it's really special and I, it's going to be really emotional for me. But um, I think it's amazing that all these people came out and um, support the students that fell ten years ago. Um, I, I know a couple of people coming out tonight, and um, I just brought my boyfriend with me because, yeah, they, we all think it's, it's something to um, attend and remember for the rest of our lives as Aggies. Well, Kylie and I actually have an older brother who was there the night that it happened. He actually left the bonfire not to, or left Stack at the midnight shift. He lost a lot of friends and it's extremely important to us to pay homage to them again tonight. Honestly, I think it's going to be a lot more people tonight. Uh, this really affected the college and it really affected a lot of people and I'm very happy that so many people remember it now. I'm from Arizona. I didn't know anything about A&M until I came out here. Didn't even know about Bonfire when it collapsed. Um, but just the the remembrance out here and like the spirit, like I say, the Aggie spirit can never be told. Um, it really, I've completely embraced it. And tonight when I went to the remembrance ceremony at Reen Arena, uh, I you know I really got emotional about it. And it seemed strange to me because I knew nothing about it before. But uh, it just goes to show that you didn't necessarily have to be a part of it when it happened to you know remember and to feel the feelings that the people do that were involved um, you know this I think this means just as much to me as some people that had you know family members there and you know that's just that's that's how it spreads throughout campus just shows how important it really is originally I wasn't really gonna say anything tonight but I felt I needed to say this A little message from a student to the rest of the students these Aggies that gave their lives, they didn't give their lives for Bonfire, but they put out for Bonfire. They applied themselves outside of the school, you know, outside of their schoolwork, outside of other organizations. They came out here and they applied themselves to something bigger than themselves. They came out to Bonfire and they put out for it. Please don't think I'm being a Debbie Downer, but I feel like there can be a lot of people that agree with me when I say that there's become a, quite a complacency with basic Aggie traditions. You know, coming to Silver Taps, saying howdy, going to muster, getting involved in student organizations. You know, we're, we're the best campus in the entire world as far as getting involved with student organizations. We have, so, we have so many people going to this school. We can double it, we can triple it. You know, we might not have bonfire anymore, but there are a million other big things that you can apply yourself to, to make this campus better, to make the Aggie family better, to make the Aggie spirit live on stronger than it's ever been, ever before.